A nun who ran a Catholic elementary school in Torrance, California, has agreed to plead guilty to stealing more than $835,000 in school funds to pay for her personal expenses, including a gambling habit. Mary Margaret Kroipa, 79, was charged Tuesday with one count of wire fraud and one count of money laundering, according to the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Central District of California. A plea agreement was filed with the charging document. A statement from Kroipa's attorney, Mark Byrne, said that Kroipa is very remorseful for what happened, describing how she became a nun at 18 and has dedicated her life to helping others. Unfortunately, later in her life she has been suffering from a mental illness that clouded her judgment and caused her to do something that she otherwise would not have done, the statement said. A person who answered the phone at St. James Catholic School, where Kroipa was principal for nearly three decades until she retired in 2018, said the school had no comment. The Archdiocese of Los Angeles said it had contacted authorities in 2018 when financial reviews showed that a substantial amount of school funds had been misappropriated for personal use by Kroipa. The community of faith at St. James was shocked and saddened by these actions and the parish, school and the Archdiocese reported the matter and fully cooperated with authorities in the criminal investigation, the Archdiocese said in its statement. In November 2018, the pastor of St. James Catholic Church in Redondo Beach alerted parents in letters that both Kroipa, then recently retired, and Sister Lana Chong, a former teacher, had allegedly misappropriated school funds for their personal use. Chong, who retired at the same time as Kroipa, was an eighth-grade teacher for about 20 years and had served as vice principal for the past several years. In the weeks that followed, Parents told the Times that both nuns, who drove to campus in Volvos, had spoken openly about trips they'd taken to Las Vegas and Lake Tahoe. Many parents expressed outrage as details of the financial scheme were disclosed during a two-hour meeting at St. James Church and asked if the nuns would apologize to families. According to a statement filed in support of the plea agreement, Kroipa had taken a vow of poverty as a nun and her living expenses were paid by her order of nuns. All money that she earned at the school was supposed to go toward the order. As principal, the statement said, Kroipa oversaw the school's financial affairs and managed its bank accounts. She was a signatory on two accounts opened at a credit union in the 1980s and 90s, a savings account for the school and an account that was created to pay for the living expenses of nuns employed by the school.